The federal government is requiring masks on public transportation, including airports and all public transit. That means every rider on RTD buses and trains still has to mask up, although several viewers have shared pictures with us of people riding RTD without the masks. And speaking of RTD, the transit agency is looking for fresh ways to get people to hop aboard. Yeah, even talking about cutting fees. Since the pandemic, ridership has been down. In May, for instance, ridership is down 58% from the year before. CBS 4's Jacqueline Quinn joins us live to explain the regional transportation district's plans. Hi, Jacqueline. Hey, Karen, we're here at Union Station. That's the A-Line train. And you know what? You might expect this area to be a little bit busier. That's why we're hearing of these recommendations. One of those that's really interesting people right now is, you know, possibly lower fares to get people into these seats. RTD, well, they say they've gotten these recommendations, but it's not so easy. These changes really can't happen overnight. Hey, would you rather pay less or more for something? Uh, less. Ask people, would they rather pay more or less? And the answer is what you would expect. Less. I would rather pay less. In a report last week, the RTD Accountability Committee, which Governor Polis helped to spearhead into creation, suggests a number of things to improve ridership, among them slashing fares to attract more people as the pandemic winds down. Is it really necessary if I'm going to ride my bike to work or hop in a car and be here in 20 minutes. I, I think making it affordable for those that don't have an option, but Manset Transit would be a wonderful idea. But lower fares don't guarantee more riders. It is too expensive for most people, and it's complicated for people to figure out. RTD spokesperson Paletta Tonilas tells us the agency was already studying fare structure when the report came out. They think it has a lot of good recommendations, but nothing can change quickly. To just slash fares or cut them for the temporary is not as easy as a lot of times people think because you have to take a look at equity across the board. And she says it's a complex process, part of which is working within a budget. That's why they are in the middle of their study. We aren't sure where it could go. Uh, I think that there's probably a good likelihood that a lower fare structure could be where we end up. Now, the response to the recommendations doesn't come out until August, and they haven't finished their study. So if you're expecting to see lower fares, well, that may not happen anytime soon. In Denver, I'm Jacqueline Quinn covering Colorado First.